first of all, I give God all glory and honor and power. This is the time that we aim to draw closer to God, at least for myself. Um, and how do we do that? So I'm gonna talk about fasting um, because I know that I'm not the only one who struggles with this. I wake up thinking about food all the time and that is why I struggle with fasting and every time somebody says to me it's time to fast or you have to fast about this I go my goodness I can't do it and I've struggled for years but just um, a couple of months ago in January I discovered a wonderful fast that I was able to do it's equally difficult but it was good for me to do that and in fact it really really helped me draw closer to God and I'm continuing to grow so it's called Daniel Fast. Now I wanted to share this video because it was the first time uh, for me to hear about Daniel Fast but not until I started praying with Mountain of Fire's ministry um, I do pray with them via a telephone conference call every morning that the pastor who was leading the prayer decided that everyone would go on Daniel fast and I think it was um, starting of February and, and I, I was very excited as well as frightened about it but um, I got through that fast and it was amazing so I want to talk to you about it for those of you out there who don't know what it's all about these video is for you and also to share with you great testimonies that came along with that fast that I did and what you can benefit from um, fasting and really stopping and thinking about your relationship with God so stay tuned. So let's talk about uh, the origin of Daniel fast. I know that most of you are aware of who Daniel is in the Bible and I'm going to read out I should have my glasses on let me grab my glasses because I won't be able to read this. Just hold on one second. So I'm back with my glasses on. So I'm going to read to you the origin of um, of the Daniel fast and how all Christians or most Christians started doing this. So I'm reading from the book of Daniel 10, 2 to 3. And it says, at a time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice food no meat no wine touched my lips and i used no lotion at all until the three weeks were over with daniel fast in my understanding you can do a 21 days fasting or you can do um a 10 days fast so i'm gonna read out to you the fruit um, the, the things that you should be eating and the things that you're not allowed to eat during daniel fast so you are allowed to have fruits and nuts so for me, I bought like uh, peanuts, I, I like cooked peanuts, I don't like um, roasted ones, so I bought um, I bought raw ones and I cooked it and then put it in, the, in a jar to eat when I'm feeling hungry. And you're allowed to eat vegetables, all vegetables are allowed. You only drink water and um, to flush out toxins, of course, you drink plenty, but only water. Some people drink, like I said before, some people drink natural juice, but what is natural? You don't know what they make these days at the supermarket. Some people might add things in it. So I would really advise you to veer away from, um, from, fruit, um, from juices off of the supermarkets and just drink water. If you want to have that sugar, have some fruits in itself, like apple, pineapple, you can have that. Um, as an alternative you don't you're not allowed coffee or tea or even herbal tea you're not allowed any of those you're not allowed sugar at all um, okay you should eliminate all meat all pastries chips breads and fried food I feel like potato chips which is um, sweet potato chips I oven bake it I don't fry it I bake it in the oven and have that so avoid um, bread contain yeast or baking powder so any bread containing yeast or baking powder don't have them okay or you're not allowed dairy products you're not allowed meat you're not allowed 
uh, processed food, you're not allowed fried food, you're not allowed alcohol or uh, caffeine or, or herbal teas or any of those things, just drink water. Make it simple for yourself, drink water. The Holy Spirit will guide you so when you're doing this fasting, call upon the Holy Spirit of God and Holy Spirit of God will be there for you and guide you through and help you. Remember that the, the, the purpose of fasting really is to draw closer to God, is to create that intimacy with God. And in Daniel fast, even though it's completely different from other fasting that people do, because you do eat, but you're limited to, to some kind of food. But the main aim of this fast is not to think about food, is not to think about anything else, but to think about your relationship with God and sometimes if you're like me you lose concentration and you start thinking about oh how much weight have I lost I'm not gonna lie to you that happens to me because I'm constantly thinking about my weight whether I'm fasting or not so what I tend to do is draw myself back and I read my Bible and if you don't have a Bible in the on the go what you can do is have a Bible app I have a very very nice Bible app I'm gonna show you now so you can have a look. Oh, I can't bring it up. This is my app. I don't know if you can see it. And here, this Bible app is so good. Here, I can actually get it to play and I will listen to it whilst I'm driving so that I am feeding myself with, with the Word of God. And this is what you should be doing. Now, some people sometimes when they are fasting, they are fasting for a particular thing. For example, if you want that good job, you can fast about it. And I swear, it does bring about breakthrough in one's life. And you can fast about your job, you can fast about your relationship with your spouse, you can fast about your relationship with other people, you can fast about your children, you can fast about so many different things. But sometimes, let's not forget that we need to also um, try and stay closer to God. And it's nothing to do with the fact that we want something, it's because we want to continue to build that relationship with God. So sometimes I do it, I want to feel God even more. And, uh, and then fasting does help me do that. But I'm still not good with other types of fasting. This is why I absolutely loved uh, Daniel fasting because it's so good to me. I can still eat, although there are certain foods that I'm not allowed to eat. But don't be fooled, it's not that easy. It's not easy at all. For example, um, when I was doing the fast, my children were eating normal food and sometimes I would be the one cooking that food for them. I would cook chicken, I would cook every Saturday in my house we have like a homemade uh, burgers. And I love that because I look forward to dirty weekend and just eat and relax and not worry about health or my weight. But I couldn't eat that because I was um I was having you know, I was um I was fasting and it was really really difficult and I could smell the food and oh my goodness. So it's not easy but for for me, I found I could do it and I was committed to it. So always aim for what you can commit to. So if you're good at fasting or some people do like 40 days dry fasting or I know people who do that and they commit to it, that's so good and you don't copy what people are doing. Maybe by God's grace you will reach to that level and then you can fast like that. But for me, I just feel like Daniel fast is really, really good. And also, before you start any fast, make sure that you have cons um, consulted your doctor if you have any medical issue. If you're diabetic, for me, who is a trained diabetic nurse, I don't think Daniel Fast would affect you at all and quite frankly, Daniel Fast would be very very good for someone who is diabetic because it will help you a lot because first of all, you're going, to start, you're going to stop eating the junk food. You're still going to be getting your carbohydrate when you need it. Um, in terms of protein, you can get protein from beans and stuff like that. Um, you can't have dairy food, I forgot to mention that, you, you're not allowed dairy um, dairy product you can have almond almond milk and you can have soya milk as well so i don't personally like soya milk but i have almond milk so this is this is it it's it's very important that the focus of this fast should stay with God. And if you find that you're thinking about something different from the fast, for example, you're thinking of food too much or you're thinking of how much weight you've lost because you're going to lose weight, you need to bring yourself back to the focus. Also, another thing that is very important to remember when you're doing Daniel fast is praying. 
you have to pray three times a day so what I did is when I wake up in the morning when I woke up in the morning I prayed then in the midday I prayed and at night time I pray so I'm getting my three times of special moments with God where I was praying and um, and I'm going to do a different video on how to pray so remember always always pray fasting time is a time to reflect on your relationship with god so uh, you know fasting is extremely important if you have things going on in your life if you're under spiritual attack in your life and and you want to set yourself free do you know you don't always need to go to a pastor you can pray to god you can call upon the holy spirit of god to guide you and fasting is a very powerful tool to use obviously it brings you closer to god you are very very broken in your spirit and you're talking to God about what you need you're disciplining yourself you're um, eliminating food or eliminating um, things that you like just to tell you know just to draw close to God and up in my world I feel like to show God how serious you are about this thing and tell him you know I want you involved in what's going on in my life and I want you to come through for me and God never ever disappoints I feel like the fast that I did did set me free from some spiritual bondages and I know that you might sit at home thinking that's mumbo jumbo I can tell you now that there are spiritual warfare going on there are spiritual attack on different people's lives including myself and it's not mumbo jumbo you have to fine you cannot just stand there and allow things to invade your life you can't just stand there and allow your life to fall apart when you can do something about it and this is why praying and drawing closer to God is extremely important and this is why fasting is very 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 powerful so I urge you if you're not fasting try it start small you can even start like 6 to 12 in the afternoon I do that because I'm not very good but Daniel fast has taken me to that level and I really like it it's not easy because I'm avoiding so many things that I like um, to eat different things I mean eating vegetable I like fruit so fruit is fine with me but vegetables I'm not a big fan but I have to eat that guys you know I, I my spiritual growth has been amazing and I'm continuing to grow in boldness I'm not afraid to come on my vlog and talk about God because God is amazing in my life and I'm doing this to help other people there's so many young people in bondage as we speak there's so many things falling apart that we cannot physically fix but spiritually we can stay strong and fight you cannot stand there and have devil play with your life you need to fight back and how do you fight back by praying and by staying closer to God and by avoiding sins and I know it's difficult and this is why I talked about celibacy in my other video where I said you need to stand up and fight give things uh, give you know give up things that you might think is important but they're not as important as your soul and your spiritual well-being so Daniel fast is incredibly wonderful it's absolutely powerful and um, I'm gonna try and leave some details in the description box below to guide you I will list the foods that you can have and cannot have to make it easy for you just stick with one food like for, for me what I'm doing when I did the 21 days Daniel fasting I just stuck to one same food all the time again it's not about the food that you can and cannot eat it's not about food it's about your spiritual growth it's about um, focusing on your breakthrough that thing that you're asking God for ask him at this point in time and he will do it for you I'm gonna share a brief testimony with you I and this is very very um, private as much as I share things on my on my video I try to keep a little bit of a little bit of things to myself uh, normally I suffer from stress induced depression and anxiety and I've gone through that because I went through a lot of stress in the past few months um, and that came on and I was seeing a doctor for that and I was on medication and still I just felt really bad being on medication I just you know felt terrible going back to that place again I thought I had left that behind many years ago um, but it wasn't my fault things happened and it happened but I was praying I was really praying and my Daniel fast really really helped me and my spirit was lifted up and also one day I was praying whilst I was doing the fast and I, and, I, and I lifted my hands up like that and I was praising God and you know guys I, this might be really really spooky to hear that I felt like a presence behind me lifting my hands up it felt like someone 
I, in my head I thought I have an angel behind me holding my hands up because I was beginning to get tired but my hands almost like was held up and I was praising God so and since then I can see that my spirit is a bit more settled I've gone back to being my tigger jumpy self I'm you know I'm extremely grateful to God for what he's doing in my life so guys don't just sit there and being cool I am cool as well but God is the ultimate if you're cool be cool in Christ and be cool in God and give your life to Christ and do the very best that you can so I'm not here to preach to you guys because I'm not a preacher or a teacher or anything I'm just somebody who has received Christ I'm buzzing in the Lord and loving it so I want to share that with people pray more fast more and just you know get yourself involved in the things of God and you will have a very very good life and no matter what life throws at you you will bounce back and that's why people go how do you do this it's not you it's God so if this video has been great and been useful um, to you I would like you to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done already so I'll see you guys very very soon the next video next week we'll be talking about um, a particular area of a woman's health so I hope you stay tuned for that. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.